Yeah, thanks very much. I'm your substitute chair in place of uh, Chris Halen, who was supposed to be here. Uh, so we only have one talk for this session, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so it's the usual 20 minutes, then five minutes for questions. But because it's the only talk, we can probably be a bit more generous if we want to uh, about Hungarian constructions and the Constructicon. So uh, go ahead. Can you hear me? Okay. I welcome everybody. Thank you for coming for my talk. I'm Balint Shosh, uh, coming from Budapest, the Hungarian Research Center for Linguistics. And yes, I'm, I will talk about the Hungarian Constructicon. First, uh, is it okay? Ah, thank you. Uh, first, uh, please become uh, familiar with some Hungarian words which I will refer throughout this talk. Ostal, this is Ostal. The, the next slide is my favorite. So Fehér. And you can imagine the third one. So Fehér Ostal, white table. If we, if we tell it in Hungarian literally, but if we have it idiomatically. So this is a white table in Hungarian. Okay, Fehir Ostal means a table set for meals. So this is an idiomatic meaning. This is a simple construction, which meaning should be learned, which meaning can be derived, can't be derived uh, from its parts. Okay, this will be our main example throughout the talk. So the outline. First, the definition of construction. Uh, second, why should we include, or why I like very much to include single element constructions also, and uh, to, uh, so to allow to treat all kinds of constructions in a unified way. Uh, fourth point is about the technical parts, how I transformed an initial dictionary to a constructicon. This is a quite simple step, but important step. Uh, how to query the Constructicon. It's not a trivial task. The so-called dynamic toolbox will be the solution to querying. I will show you some examples. And then this entry query links uh, 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 details later. And the, so the, the resource is uh, in the beginning stage, but it's, it's really available. You can try some Hungarian words and uh, contact me if you have any questions or comments about the results. Uh, I have, uh, because contraction and constructicon is so similar, I adopted uh, abbreviations. So CXN is the construction, CCN is the constructicon. Okay, and uh, so we will have a resource where the basic units are constructions, not words. So we won't have head words, but head constructions. This H, H C, X, M will be the head construction. And also the Hungarian constructicon will have an abbreviation. So in fact, I have covered this. Learn pairings of form and function, or in fact, everything is a construction which is not fully compositional, which does not have uh, compositional parts. So examples from Goldberg uh, 2006, morphemes are constructions, words, uh, fixed continuous combinations of words, like the our main example, Fehér Ostal, with its idiomatic meaning is a construction. And uh, there are several types of more complex constructions, which is future work for the Hungarian Constructica. For example, which has free slots, which is non-continuous, which has variable word order, and so on. Constructions are often imagined as a multi-element unit. I emphasize that single element units are constructions as well. So Ostal or Rare is an example of Hungarian case marker, meaning onto. So Ostalra will be onto the table. This is not a new idea. It is still Goldberg to 
include single element units to the set of constructions. So let's revise. This is a construction, single element unit. This is also a construction, single element unit. This is not a construction because its meaning is compositional. And this is a construction because its meaning is idiomatic. Okay. Uh, the goal is to be able to treat all kinds of constructions in a unified way. So that's why I want to include uh, single element units as well. The point is this will allow us to grasp all connections between these units. I'm very thankful for the pr previous presentations because in fact we are trying to build something similar to Hungarian which uh, Passarotti had to make uh, made for Latin, but we are at the very beginning of the project. So, as you know, the third one is not a construction. The all, all the the other three are. Uh, this is the first point, the the technical part. This is a simple thing. I just took an uh, initial dictionary in an XML form and I lifted out the constructions hidden inside the collocation part of the entries. So as, as dictionaries should be, there are head words and there are collocation parts somewhere in the head words. And I took these so called collocation constructions and give them uh, individual entries on, it on their own. So I added about uh, four, uh, 14,000 new entries to the original dictionary. That way I will have single element head constructions and multi-element head constructions as well. Uh, take a look at the XML. At the top is the before, before lifting, and the, at the bottom is after the lifting. So. This is a simplified version of the XML. So I just take this uh, construction, uh, lift it out, and create an individual entry for it, and leave a kind of uh, cross-reference at the original place. So that's the simple transformation I made to have head constructions for all the units I, I want to. Just one word about completeness and correctness. So I just took one dictionary, so it it can be un can be not complete in the sense of containing all of Hungarian constructions, and it can be not correct also because it can have in this construction part so uh, expressions which are compositional in fact. But I, as a working hypothesis, I consider this resource complete and correct. So if it tells us this is a construction, I take it. Okay, so this resource can, can be improved also uh, uh, naturally, but the issues about improving the, this dictionary is not the scope of this talk. The, the scope is how, how a construct which I imagine look like in the XML, and more importantly, how we can query uh, such a resource. So how does querying work? Uh, also in the previous talk, we, we had several options to, to query a linked database. First, how do you query a dictionary? Basically, you, uh, you type in a word, and uh, if the word is present in the dictionary, you, you get a an entry and that if not present then you don't get an answer. Uh, usually you should know the canonical form of the word. If you type the canonical form to the dictionary query you will get an answer. If you maybe just uh, type a regular uh, inflected form you won't maybe you won't get a, an answer in traditional dictionary. So, wha 
another solution. So this is the this is the how do you communicate traditionally with a dictionary? But how do you communicate with a constructicon? A common solution is uh, to just present a predefined list of constructions that you can choose between them. This is the solution for the Swedish construction, Russian construction, con constructicon. Um, that's the main point. May that's one of the main messages. So our approach is different. We do not want to limit what the user can ask. We do not expect the user to know what is a construction and what is not. And even we, we cannot expect the user to know what is the canonical, some kind of canonical form of, the, of, of a construction, because it's not feasible for a common user. So he, he cannot, he will not know some formal representation on or, or something which is the canonical form. So the canonical form of a construction sh will be more complicated compared to the canonical form of a word. So we just let the user enter arbitrary query text and leave it to the constructicon to find out which constructions are to be shown to the user. So that's the, that's the point. We, we maybe we won't have complicated Spark UL interfaces and uh, something like that. Just a query, query box and the uh, constructicon should extract the constructions from the query and show them to the user. How much time I have? 10 minutes, OK, OK. Uh, the so uh, the solution is of this querying program is the so-called dynamic toolbox, which consists of the these four elements. We do analyze search, so we simply do linguistic analysis uh, analysis for the, the user query. Then we identify constructions in it, and we do we create virtual entries on the fly for the text, and dynamically referencing all the constructions in it. So we will see examples. The dynamic toolbox allows the, this resource to give an answer you, to any queries to the best of its ability. OK. Let's see. This is the algorithm. So if the query is a construction, we are ready. If not, we tokenize the query and then merge words to identify constructions. And we are ready with, with these spans. And for the remaining words, we do morphological analysis and then merge morphemes inside the words to in identify constructions. And we just output uh, the remaining morphemes at the end. So first, we break down the query into its linguistics elements on the level of word and on the level of morphemes and then assemble the rel relevant uh, constructions from the elements, from words, from morphemes. OK. The case of Astor. This is a head construction, so we are ready. This is a monomorphemic uh, construction. But consider Astolosh. Is the, this uh, word has a morphological structure, Astor and the ash suffix, which means carpenter. So this is a idiomatic uh, construction. So we, we must learn the, its meaning. So it also has a head construction in the uh, uh, resource. So we are ready. But take another example, which which has a almost a similar uh, a similar morphological structure. So. Astar and the suffix, so astara, where the suffix means onto, so astara is onto the table. This is uh, compositional. So this won't have a, a head construction in the resource. So we should tokenize, oh, we, we have one token. We should do morphological analysis. Then we get the morphemes. And we will create a virtual entry pointing to the two constructions which which we have in this query. So just 
So ccn.nytud.hu and I and I use the URL uh, what I talked about uh, at the end of the previous uh, presentation. So the 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 U, UR, URI for any word is ccn.nytud.hu and the word and the construction and the phrase. Okay. Okay, Astal is a head construction. This is definition of table, something like that. Astalos is also. And Astara. So the magic went appearing that some, some, some trick uh, uh, happened. So the morphological analysis Astal and Ra and this virtual entry will contain uh, uh, these two original entries okay uh, uh, which is present in the original dictionary i have five minutes so i skip some examples just the last one so this is fair fair hostile mallet so white, ta white table around, meaning around the table set for meals. Okay, so mallet is just a postposition. We have postpositions in Hungarian, not prepositions. So as you you can guess, Fehera start is a uh, construction and it is compositionally combined with this postposition. So the whole thing is not a construction. We tokenize it. Okay, the tokenizer says it, it has three tokens. Then we merge words to identify constructions in uh, every uh, variation. So we, we identify Fehrasta and the other uh, unit is Mellet. So this is the uh, result. This is a compositional combination of a non-compositional multi-word construction plus a simple word. Uh. Okay. So after the analysis, this is the result. It is a, a, there is a construction in this query uh, combined with a, another word, which is also a, a monomorphic construction, of course. Okay, future work is to handle uh, more complex uh, constructions. Uh, yes, a word about entry query links. So, uh, as we can process any kind of Hungarian text as a query, we can link all the words in the definition and examples to the resource itself. So we can, in fact, the, the canonical URI can be linked to any words. Uh, so I will show you. Another example. So Sharga, this is yellow. And so in the definition of yellow, there is the word lemon. This is lemon. So if you click lemon, then you will get the, to the, you will start a query in the resource and you will get to lemon, okay. And in the definition of lemon, there is yellow. So if you can uh, click yellow, then we go back to yellow, okay. But th the point is you can link any inflected form because, uh, because, you can, uh, because the, the query interface can process any 
Hungarian text. So Sinehez is two Sinehez it's to its color. So Sinehez has a is not a construction, it it contains three constructions color, uh, possessive suffix and the case marker. Okay. This is the availability. So please go to ccn.itud.au with this username and password. So let's see which what is in the Hungarian construction constructicon. Feel free to try it and contact me if you have questions or comments. Thank you. Yeah, this is amazing stuff for those of us who like constructions. And I think everything you've said about constructions is perfectly sensible and logical. Yeah. So any Thank questions? You. Any online anything? I don't think that's a question we need to air here. <laughs> Maybe we can return to it o offline. Yes? Okay. So when I type in Fahir Astal Mellet around the white table, the only answer I get is the non-compositional one. Yes. So I can't say that it can be around the white table while I need, okay, so. Okay, future work. <laughs> so I know <laughs> this. So if you, so yes, it, it only shows the construction and the in the future, there will be a thing that you can you can uh, you can have also the literal meaning. So it it should be somehow uh, marked that this is compositional and this is not compositional. This is the main point. So it it will be. Thank yeah, you. That that was going to be my question also in in case mm -hmm. nobody asks any questions. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 there is. For example, it, it's uh, more or less working, sorry. So, terem is whole and produce. This is the, okay, this is a verb, produce. This is a noun, uh, whole. But it, this is also an inflected form of another word. So, terem is my place. So, this is the, this is the, the two monomorphemic. Uh, solutions and this is the virtual entry for the compositional inflected form so that something like that yeah um, it's interesting what emerges uh, what kinds of challenges emerge when you upgrade your definition of a dictionary a lexicon to that of a constructicon and suddenly you have these sort of uh, complications in search, how do you satisfy user queries, and how do you match what the user has typed into the search box against what you have in your database. Yeah, it's very interesting. Okay. Anything else here? If not, thank you very much. This is really exciting stuff. And uh, Thank you.